Jesus of Nazareth, he died. The soldiers led Jesus away and out of the city, forcing him to carry the cross on his shoulders. But he endured the suffering that should have been ours, the pain that we should have borne. But because of our sins, he was wounded, beaten because of the evil we did. We are healed by the punishment he suffered, made whole by the blows he received. He was treated harshly, but he endured it humbly. He never said a word. Like a lamb about to be slaughtered, like a sheep about to be sheared, he never said a word. There was nothing attractive about him. He was disfigured that he hardly looked human. Many people were shocked when they saw him. A large crowd of people followed him. Among them were some women who were weeping and wailing for him. Jesus turned to them and said, Women of Jerusalem, don't cry for me, but for yourselves and your children. When they came to the place of the skull, as it is called in Hebrew, Gethal, they stopped. They were crucified. They, there they crucified him. Forgive them, Father. They don't know what they are doing. Above his head they put the written notice of all the accusations against him. Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. The notice was written in Hebrew, Latin, and Greek. The chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders were making fun of Jesus and hurling insults at him. You saved others, and you cannot save yourself. If you're God's son, save yourself. Come down from the cross, and we will believe you. Two criminals were crucified with Jesus, one on his right and the other on his left. One of the criminals hanging there insulted Jesus, saying, Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. The other one, however, rebuked him, saying, Don't fear God. Don't you fear God? You received the same sentence he did. Ours, however, is only right, because we are getting what we deserve for what we did, but has done no wrong. And he said to Jesus, Remember me, Jesus when you come as king. Jesus said to him, I promise you that today you will be in paradise with me. Standing close to Jesus over Mary, his, his mother, and the disciple he loved. So he said to his mother, He is your son. Then he said to the disciple, She is your mother. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud shout, My God, my God, why did you abandon me? Jesus knew that by now everything had been complete, so he said, I am thirsty. They soaked a sponge and lifted it into his lips. What the prophets said came true. The sun stopped shining and the darkness covered the whole country. Father, in your hands I place my spirit. It is finished. Then he bowed his head and died. The Roman officer who was standing there in front of the cross saw how Jesus had died and said, This man re was really the Son of God. Joseph from Admithra brought a linen sheet and held by Nicodemus took Jesus' body they wrapped into in the new linen sheet and placed it in the tomb, a, sol a solid rock and rolled a large stone across the entrance. 